Hello guys, welcome to Don't Be Serious. Welcome to the part 4 of all characters of Black Myth Wukong. Today I will continue sharing the information of characters of Black Myth Wukong. Man holding a fan, Xin Ziyan. Strange man with a fan. A glimpse of him waving a bunch of loosened pages to the lessened one. Fiery Buddha head, Pan Fo Fat Tao. The large fire breathing Buddha head. Not clear whether it is a head shaped monster or just a trap. Dry corpse, Gon Si. The dry dead people could be the local villagers. The one on his knees has two horns. They might be the minions of Yellow Wind Ridge. Messy teeth, Lun Si Sao. Bees of Messy Teeth. The original painting of Messy Teeth Monster is only a black and white drawing. This character might have been abandoned. Tai Ping Lan, Tai Ping Lan. Tai Ping Lan. A Wu Xiao style figure with a powerful chakra weapon. Xiao Guai, Xiao Guai. Monster of the Buddha Pagoda. It has a single horn, maybe a rhinoceros thing. Rhinoceros, Sai Ngao. This rhinoceros is from Hua Guo Mountain, Sun Wukong's Wonderland. The picture was released in the early days. The first thing game designers worked on was probably the Hua Guo. Ho, the golden hair beast. Gan Mo Hao Choi Tai Shui. Hao is a mythical beast in ancient Chinese myth and legends. The Hao is an often beast that resembles a dog and cannibalizes humans as described in ancient books. It was recorded as the pinnacle of Gong Si in Qin Dynasty novels, evolving from Horn but the Zhao Demon. The specific golden hair Hao in the Genital West novel has a name, Choi Tai Shui, in the story, who was originally the mount of Guan Yin Bodhisattva and was eventually subdued by Guan Yin. Shadowless Hand, Mo Ying Sao. Mo Ying Sao, the Shadowless Hand. Sha Ling Hai, Sa Ling Hai. A faceless monk with a staff. Monk warrior, Mo Zhang. Another faceless monk warrior with a sword. The handsome trio with unique looks. Horn frog sing, Go Wa Zheng. <laughs> 72, Ha Mo Zheng. Horned Flock Zeng. It also appeared in the year 2022's funny video. Beetle Zeng, Gap Chong Yu. Beetle Zeng. Only an early modeling was revealed. Insect Zeng, Chong Yu. Wang Fa Gun Chong Yu. Huang Hua Temple Insect Zeng. Insect Zeng, Chong Yu. They both are humanoid insect monsters. Ganadama lose Saidam Sing, Ling Zi Zeng. Garudama lose them Zeng. Probably is the same as the Jinsen Zeng. A treasure box monster. Jinsen Sing, Siu Yan Sam Zeng. 77, Siu Yan Sam Zeng. Jinsen Zeng. Probably the same kind of the land elf mentioned in my first video. Red Beer Long, Chek Yim Long. Chek Yim means red bear in Chinese. It is a fierce long with red bear. Hence the name Chek Yim Long, one of the nine sons of the Jing River Long King. Tiger Vanguard, Fu Xinfeng. Fu Xinfeng, the Tiger Vanguard. Journey to the West describes Tiger Vanguard as a Vanguard general under the, the command of Ming Guai, the Huangfeng King who rules the Huangfeng Ridge. He used two red copper block swords, is good at Shaolin method, and can ride the wind. He once captured Tang Mong and thus led to a fight with Sun Wong, the Monkey King, and Chu Ba Gai, the Pixie. Tiger Vanger led his men to the fight, even though they were no match for the power duo. On a few rounds that he and his men were defeated by Sun Wong, he tried to flee but was killed by Juba guy with a rake attack. But in the game, he clearly survived. King Yellow Eyebrow, Wang Mei Dai Wang. Wang Mei Dai Wang, the Yellow Eyebrow King. He was bound to be the final boss of the Xiao Lei Temple level. Pay attention, this guy is not a real Buddha, but a phony who claims himself a Buddha. Among 
all release footage, this false Buddha is the most powerful boss currently exposed, and the interpretations of his extras are going to be the highlights of the game. Because in the original novel, those extras he owns play a significant role. The huge Golden symbol at the very end of the trailer is one of the ni、uh, the mighty asters belong to the king Yellow Eyebrow. It is seen as the most indestructible, imprisoning item in the entire novel, where even Sun Wukong himself trying all methods using all skills he learned can't break through. Can't imagine how desperate it is to be trapped inside. Not until the help of Gong Gonglong, one of the twenty eight celestial star officers, was he rescued. <clears throat> the super annoyed Monkey King immediately destroys the gold prison with fury. Not long after Sun Wukong escaped the golden symbol, he was once again captured by another Astra, the Human Back. But this time, the Great Sage. Managed to escape by himself. Then the great battle between the evil King Yellow Eyebrow and the Bright Side begins. The Yellow Eyebrow is so powerful that even Sun Wukong, along with other heroes and gods of justice, couldn't beat him. He first fought the evil King one on one for over fifty rounds, can't defeat him. Then he calls for the help from respectively Sun Mo Dai Dai Dong Mo Ting Jun. The lore of sincere and brave, the supreme god of devil erasing, who is at Wu Dang Mountain, and turtle and snake warriors and five Shenlongs, they lost. Then, Jun, the little prince, along with four warriors who joined the dark side in the game, were sent to help. So, how does it finally turn out? I don't want to spoil the plot. If interested, just go read the book. Okay, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And also check out my part one, part two, and part three of all characters of Kung Fu Kong that you don't want to miss.